Hi all. Um, I'm J.A. Carlton and welcome to Living in Hope. Uh, yesterday I did a video on the four B's and today I want to come back and just hit a couple more. So there are more B's to the four B's. Um, these actually go back a long way in my lifetime. And I know some of you younger folks, probably, some of you younger folks probably just don't know or remember. Um, back in the late 80s and early 90s, um, date rape became a uh, nasty, nasty thing uh, that was happening quite frequently. Um, I think it was GHB was being spiked into girls' drinks and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, women who would go out on the town and stuff like that uh, would, uh, they would, you know, you'd leave your drink at the bar or at the table and go to the bathroom and come back and your drink would be spiked with a drug. So, uh, just in case, God forbid, that these things start happening again, which I don't think they ever really stopped. They did kind of just, you know, simmer down quite a bit. But... Given the situation that we're all living in right now for the next um, indefinite period of time, a couple of things I want you to be aware of. So be safe by being aware of your surroundings and the people within them, especially, again, men, uh, especially if you're out at bars, especially if you're out at clubs and you see the kind of men that usually tout themselves as alphas. Um, you know the ones I'm talking about. You know. You know the ones I'm talking about. The ones that you look at from across the bar and you're like, what? Is that for real? So those are the ones that will probably, you know, uh, potentially have your not best interests in mind. Uh, anyway, this uh, does also go for law enforcement as well. Um, and I, I hate to say it because most of the time I was raised to believe that law enforcement is your friend. We can't count on that anymore. So don't be alone with them. And uh, don't leave your drink unguarded or your food unguarded. Be diligent. So second B, be diligent. Never leave a drink or meal unattended in a public place. Never ever accept food or drink from anyone other than waitstaff or other server. Okay. If a guy comes and says, you know, oh yeah, I, I saw you ordered this and I just, you know, I told the waiter I'd bring it to you, decline or leave it sit there and, um, when you have uh, had your piece and, and um, don't touch it. Just, just don't touch it. Be vigilant. So keep an eye on what's going on in the areas around you, watching the news, online community bulletin boards where people can openly talk about strange men in the neighborhood prowling around where they shouldn't be, um, and be proactive. So if you're not uh, a MAGA, or are with one, be especially aware and wary of changes in his behavior towards you and the women in your family. If you don't already know his true colors, they will be coming out very, very soon. And also there are MAGA women, so be very careful about strange women as well. Oftentimes women are accomplices to men, especially in cults, and MAGA is a cult. Be aware of that. Um, it's a trope that's been used in movies quite often because it's actually true and it has been done in real life. It is not uncommon for women under the control of someone like uh, an abuser or a mega man or someone who's in a trad wife role to be subservient and do what the man demands, even if it's luring another person to their doom. Okay. There are news stories out there. Um, so you can look them up. I'm not going to waste your time with that, but you feel free to go ahead and look up in instances where women have been used to lure children to 
god-awful situations and other young women to god-awful uh, situations where they, many of them probably had not escaped from before the one who actually did. So anyway, be mindful. Know the people that you're going to be hanging around. And if you know that even if you're acquainted with them, but you don't know who they really are. So still be careful. This this can be anybody. Um, you know, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Be friend of a friend, you're going to Friendsgiving, you're going to Thanksgiving, you're going to um, company party and somebody's SO is there, but they're not married, but he's, you know, milling around and trying to be friendly. You, ju you just don't know. So level up your self security. Okay. Also never, ever, ever. And this should be an obvious thing, the most obvious thing. But never give out your address, phone number, email address, or accept any ride from anyone that you wouldn't let babysit your kids. Make sure that your friends know never to give your information out either. Just remind them, because most friends won't give out too much information of yours without your permission. Um, but sometimes they're like, you know, oh yeah, you should call my friend so-and-so. This is her number. Don't do that. Tell your friends, make a point of advising them, do not ever give out your information to anyone unless, you know, they initiate the call, like saying, you know, okay, I need you to go to so-and-so's house to the cops or something like that because I haven't heard from them in weeks. Make regular check-in periods with your friends, okay? If you haven't heard from somebody in a week, drop them a text, give them a call, hear their voice, let them know you're fine, know that they're fine, okay? Um, there's... Uh, there are often many, many wonderful and supportive men in our lives, and we are now absolutely certain that more than 50% of the men we know are willing to subdue, brutalize, both psychologically and physically, and grape us, uh, and probably unalive us. This is now a fact that we have to live with on the daily. So from this moment and until January 20th of 2025, we still have a right to protect and defend ourselves from harm. Those rights are being whittled away every second of every day. Uh, again, if you go in the description for this, um, I have five videos listed, self-defense videos that you can practice with your girlfriends uh, to make sure that you do not become easily victimized. The harder you fight, the more easily he's going to give up and just go find somebody else to be a victim. Uh, so I recommend you watch the videos and practice with each other. Bonus B, be really careful. Just because you think you know someone from work or through a friend or as a casual acquaintance, remember you do not. And for decades to come, you should never allow yourself to feel safe in the presence of strange or barely acquainted men again. This is what they have done. No heterosexual marriage, no sex with men, no dating men, and no babies with men. Um, I'm adding another one no male controlled religion. So uh, they did this. This is self care and it isn't selfish. We've all heard it before. You can't take care of someone else if you don't take care of yourself. It is true. It's a very popular saying because it is true. Uh, because of the hatred, misogyny, big bigotry, and countless loathsome qualities and activities of one despicable walking stain, all men must now be painted with the same brush, except those you already know intimately, simply because more than 50% of them voted against decency, hope, and the rights of all Americans and against the rights of human existence to the rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and in favor of their right to deprive us of ours just so they could hate, discriminate, and brutalize others freely. So remember, self-care, self-defense is self-care, and self-care is not selfish. So thank you for the time. Uh, please continue to uh, read, write, create, and uh, together we will keep hope alive. Um, one last thing in the uh, description, there should be a link to uh, my old website, uh, jacarlton.com with um, the, for go to forward slash freebies. 
Go there, pick up a free PDF of Your Life, Your Destiny, Your Choice. It is free and it's chock full of great tips and understandings of how and why you deserve the life that you choose. So thanks again. Um, as, as usual, I hope to see you soon. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and um, I'll see you when I can. Thank you so much. Bye now.